The gospel is sufficient to bring about salvation. We say that and we believe it, but why is it true? We need to understand in Scripture that the Word of God always creates. I mean, we can see this all the way back to Genesis 1 when God speaks and the world comes into existence. He, he literally says light and there's light. That He speaks the world into existence. He speaks and, and changes Abraham's name from Abram, uh, the wandering pagan, to Abraham, uh, the father of the great nations, and literally would be uh, the, where the seed would come. God would bless the nations, all the earth, through the seed, the offspring of Abraham, which we know was going to be Jesus and is Jesus. And when God calls Israel out of Egypt, He speaks and causes them uh, they were not a people. They were not a nation. They were slaves. And he calls them out and tells them that he's, they're going to be his people. He's going to be their God. And he, he, just by speaking, creates the nation of Israel that they're his people. We follow on into the, to the New Testament and we, we recognize that this is how God works. He, his word creates and it causes his people to be formed. And Paul can say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God unto salvation. In 1 Corinthians, Paul talks about the foolishness of, of preaching and people think that it's foolishness. And Paul wasn't saying that it was literally foolishness, but people think that it's foolishness. How does this work? Well, it works because God gets all the glory. We, we're not trying to convince people. We're not trying to force people to believe. We're sp simply speaking God's Word, God's truth into their lives and, uh, and allowing God to take that Word and to, to grow life into the people. And so it, it's God gets all the credit, He gets all the glory, we don't get any. We don't have to come up. That's why when, when Pastor Phil and Pastor Christian and I stand up to preach, we, we try to stay tied to the text. We don't feel like it's our job to stand up on Sunday morning or Sunday evening and create something new, to be novel, to come up with something that you've never heard of before. Our job is simply to take the text, which has been around longer than we have, and to take the, the truth that has not changed and to speak it into your life. Yes, we will use modern day illustrations and, and things to try to help you understand, but always we're speaking the faith, the truth that was passed down once and for all to the, to the saints. We're speaking that same truth into your life and we're trusting that God is going to use it and to bring about salvation. Literally, I, I want to read Romans 10 to you. Uh, you know this passage, but we, we should hear it again in, in reference to this. How then will they call on Him in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in Him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent? Just as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. This is quite simply the way, the reason this works is because this is the way God set it up. Uh, he, in His reasoning and His will, He has declared that He will use fallible human beings, um, clay vessels, and it says in one place, He's going to use us to carry and to speak His truth into people's lives. And He's going to use that gospel message, that word, His word, to grow life into people and it works because he has decreed it to be so. We don't have to come up with a novel approach, some other way to reach people. All we're commissioned to do is to take his Bible, his word, the story of Christ and how he redeems and to speak it into people's lives. That's what we're called to do and we trust that it will work because God has decreed it will work.